Welcome back everyone. This week we're at the Corduroy. I finally signed up after all these years and um, this was the year to go because, well, I have some fantastic news uh, right out of the gate. Next, this might be the, one of the last races I'm going to be doing in a while. Um, it, this, this sounds like horrible news, but it's great news. I'm going to be a father. Lily's pregnant. Um, we're having a little boy and he's arriving next year. So I'm very fucking excited about that. So. The only thing I wanted to do was finish this race. I've, uh, and this is a great start. I fucking st put the bike in neutral. So this is the first test, uh, the, de the demo course on day one. And all I'm telling myself is uh, finish the race. It doesn't matter where you come, just ride gently. Uh, lots of people were saying ride 70%. Fox was saying just ride 70%. Don't go too hard. And like, you've heard me complain throughout the years. Um, I've got problems with my legs, I got cramp issues, and um, I have like problems with my knee, uh, my right knee from like just injuries from the past. I've had like a tricep issue, uh, I, got, I, could, I ripped my tendon a long time ago, I never had surgery on it. Um, so, you know, there's lots of things that are like just niggling in my mind uh, that all I want to do is finish the race. Now, like on a two hour race, then like, you know, it's not so bad. Um, I can usually get by just fine, um, but this is not a two-hour race. <laughs> In fact, with some of my performance, the, the two-hour race, uh, I might as well have spent two hours on one fucking, uh, on one test. So, you know, there's that. So, anyway, I'm riding 70%, like, good old advice from Fox, just take it easy, have a good ride, treat it as, a, like, a super long trail ride. And so, yeah, we're, we're, we're starting the first test there's so many people here today i met so many many cool people um i'm here with jesse uh, he's not had a huge amount of uh, seat time this year so he's a little bit apprehensive as well um i've had plenty of seat time i can't complain so first test was over like there's no point me telling you where i came it's basically last it, it, it like there's nothing impressive in any of my actual um of in any of my riding but I'm, I'm just super happy to be here and I have zero complaints about the bike I'm not ill whoa I, I've never ridden some of this type of train before it is really choppy like I'm like getting yeah, fucking shaking around quite a bit and I in hindsight maybe I should have ridden like 80% because perhaps I would have skimmed across some of this stuff a little quicker and I think it like quite took quite a bit of a toll on me <laughs> but well, we're on to the second test now. So this is Boardwalk, as you saw. There was a huge board at the start. Um, <coughs> yeah, this is a. Uh, I was, I was having, I was feeling good. This is all good. Uh, I'm just having a good old day. I, I'm really, really happy with my uh, like choices of tire and everything. I, I, like, look how rough cut this is. I'm getting shaken around. <laughs> I, I wonder what it's like if you come earlier. I was on row 46, so, I mean, there's 46 times 7 people ahead of me, plus everyone who's just passed me, so, you know, throw a few extra rows in as well. <laughs> uh, I'm still on the minute right now. I, I stay on the minute, for, okay, for a while, but then I think it was in McDuff, McCrums? Not McDuff's. McCrums. We'll see later. I, I make a, a fatal error. Well, not fatal. <laughs> I make a silly error. <laughs> This, look at this terrain. Oh, it's cool. Oh, Jesus, what's happened here? Oh, well, they're all upwards, so I, I guess they're okay. That's all right. They didn't reply, so I assume they're good. I am not used to this. This is this is really cool stuff. I wish um, I'd taken it a little bit quicker in hindsight, but of course, like I was saying, I just want to finish this race because I probably can't do it next year with a little baby. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, there's, there's so many cool people here today. I didn't, I don't know this trail. I've never done it before. I didn't realize this is right at the end. And uh, they come screaming past me. I heard a four stroke come by. It's Ray. Ray is screamed past me. The Raglan Ripper. I was like, oh, oh, it's the end. <laughs> so we're on to the third test now. This is Toe Jam. So this is the first time there's a split. And um, I didn't. Um, this is, I like, sorry, hang on, let's go back a little bit. So Toe Jam, this was, this was really, like, this is where the rock starts coming. So the Canadian Shield comes in now, and I'm pretty glad it was dry. It's just, I don't think the weather could have been much better for the corn. It starts raining in Greens Mountain, um, so it was a little slippery in that, but... Whoa, 
really loud. And, and I, get, I feel a little, like, apprehensive. I'm probably too nervous going across some of this stuff, and... I, there's nothing wrong with my tires. I have fantastic tires. The, the V33S, yeah. I can admit, it would, like, maybe if it was pissing with rain, a full gummy would matter, but for me, like, nah, it, it, this is totally fine. Um, just having an absolute blast. But, like, we're, we're pulling over and passing each other all the time. Um, mostly people passing me, but <laughs> still getting shaken around and bumped about. You can like you can see how much like the rear of the people's bikes here are like kicking around, and you can see all the the, the, the roughness in the in the terrain. Um, it was I sh like I still feel good right now. I'm just you know I keep telling myself take it easy, stay upright, keep moving, just finish the race, just finish the race. I've never ridden this far before. Like I I, I think it was. 100 of, ah, uh, I can't remember now, 100, it's, it's been a week, my brain has gone foggy, but like, we rode s over 130k, which is like, do, do the beagle bash, but in extremely rough terrain, <laughs> which, uh, and then do it again, um, but like, the, it was, it was really rough, it really showed me where the weaknesses in my body were, like, specifically my, uh, my arms, I, 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 just going downhill constantly, I'm not used to it, right, I mean, I'm going uphill right now, but, there was just so many cool things, so much like rough rock and stuff like that. I'm like, whoa, like take the hardest stuff that I've ever ridden and then just put it all back to back. It's cool. So in this, uh, because there was a, um, a split, I get ahead of a lot of the uh, intermediates. I wouldn't say I was quick enough to get ahead of the pros, but <laughs> uh, I made, I, I come out ahead of the intermediates. There was a lot of pulling over in this, this trail. Um, it's fine. I'm gonna move over. They're, those guys absolutely smoke past me. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I think I make a mistake up this hill. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think I fall over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fall over. <laughs> I, I lost speed because I was looking at the guy on the right. I should have just kept going. And then I cause a massive pileup. <laughs> just people everywhere. It's nothing like. That was just me being a, a, a silly fool. I just, I just went too slow. And then here I am, um, spun out on a rock and went to the side. And then the next thing you know, because I'm ahead of the in guys now, oh, immediately spun again. I wasn't sat on the tire. I wasn't paying attention to what terrain I was on. So it's just constantly like, just, just constantly see, you see 18. So these guys, these guys are all like, they're much, much, much faster riders. And then, you know, you just, I can't just keep going because I haven't got the speed to keep ahead of them. Not even. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm standing still when they're going past me. And, you know, I'm just, you know, just keep moving, just keep moving. Don't, don't drop the bike. Now you can hear me like, Puffin Puffin, hey, Andre, yeah, he's going by. Uh, it's good to see people, like, you get like a little bit of like, va va back into your, like, body to like, get going. I can't keep up with it, there's no chance, but, and, uh, like I could, I could barely keep up with him for short moments in a normal race, let alone one like this. And again, I'm not even actually really trying to. I'm just trying to make it through the trail. Oh, fuck that up. And I caused an immediate thank you. Uh, this is fine. Just, just drive. See, the entire hook hooks up fine. I probably put a little too much throttle in that. Um, I probably would have made it up just a little bit more gently. Um, there's a lot of practice that I was, well, a lot of learning experience of just how. Look, look how fast that. Whoa! Look at him go. <laughs> And right there, that was a lot of pain because I was looking at him going. So you see that bruise? A stick went through my boot, chipped my armor, and bruised my leg at a point. That really, really hurt. I was like, oh, bloody hell, my, my leg. You saw me look down because uh, I was looking at that guy because he rizzed past me so fast. Oh my god, he smoked me. Literally, literally. Making me eat dirt as he goes past. They're so fast. It's really impressive. Sometimes, like, I try and keep up for <laughs> five seconds, and I'm like, oh, crazy, that's the pace they're going. And, and I immediately tell myself, just finish the race. This is the first time you tried the cord, just try and finish. This is, this is, there is no reason to. So Toe Jam's over, we're on some crumbs now. And uh, this, is, this is where it starts going a little bit downhill for me. I'm still feeling really good right now. Um... But uh, I think there was a slight problem before this race, so I'm I'm feeling a little bit too excitable. So before this one, 
Um, because of the split in uh, Toe Jam, I'm like 30 minutes ahead of my line. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll take a break. And I, I see everyone there. I see people like William and uh, Andre and so basically just everyone. Everyone's at the line and we're all just chit chatting and talking and having a good time. And I, I walked away from my bike a little bit because there's so many bikes there. I parked it back a little bit because, you know, there's 30 minutes of people waiting. Um, so I parked it back a little bit and I went to go chat with them. And then I come back to my bike after 25 minutes and I find it lying on its side. And I'm like, for fuck's sake. My bike had fallen over at some point and unfortunately nobody picked it up. I really wish someone had picked it up or, I don't know, shouted, hey, a bike's fallen over. So I fuck up here because, one, I went in with no speed. I thought I made it up further there, but in hindsight, looking at the video, nope, just incompetent. And, oh shit, now it's a fucking clown show. And, uh, like, what am I, why am I trying to push this bike up this hill? Like, this bike is... I don't, I don't know. I should have just immediately gone back down, turn around, and just take another run at it. But no, I think it's a fucking great idea to just try and drive right up this hill, ride it up. And I've dropped the bike quite a few times. And um, then I have a guy land on me. This guy. Not his fault. So I got. I had the guy at his bike land on me, and it kind of pushed my arm and my elbow. And I put a lot of strength into not getting squashed. So now my arm becomes very, very tired, uh, my triceps, because I'm trying to do a push-up with a guy on a motorcycle, and my own motorcycle. And then I push the bike up the last bit of hill. Um, that was a really bad idea, because I immediately was like, my heart rate was going through the fucking roof, um, and my, my arms were so tired after that. I was like, fuck, I made a mistake. I, should, I, I wasted so much energy. But back to what happened before. So the bike had fallen over and um, the carb had uh, flooded very badly. So I was about 10 minutes taking my carb apart to like let the fuel come out. And um, then I was way too excited because I it took so long. I was starting to panic that because my bike just was not starting. Uh, and then eventually it spluttered in and turned on. I was like, thank fuck, because I don't have a kickstart and I didn't want to run my battery flat. And I was quite nervous because I had used so much battery trying to get the bike started um, and there was so much fuel pouring out of the uh, car because obviously I hadn't turned it off. I didn't expect it to fall over. Um, and then that's why I was I was just a little bit too much of an eager beaver, but I'm trying to like ride a little bit harder now, which was a mistake because having just crushed myself, or I said, having been crushed and pushing the bike up a hill, I burned so much energy in my arms and that was, that was a real bad idea. But, Lesson learned. And look at them go. Absolutely razzard pass again. So, so fucking fast, those people. Um, I need to learn how to ride faster, but also just remember, I'm trying to finish the race. That's all I'm trying to do. Just finish the entire event. That's all I want. <laughs> I was pretty happy about this line. <laughs> I saw a bunch of them off to the left, all like getting stuck and hung up. I'm like, yeah, made it past them. No, oh, they'll get past me in about two minutes or less <laughs> but I'm, I'm feeling pretty damn tired and my leg is really hurting like that bruise it just felt like a sharp stinging pain in my leg but it's all good can't complain keep going my bike's working i am not dnf'd because uh because of the fucking carb flooding but i really do wish someone to pick the bike up i mean if i saw someone's bike fall over next to me i would have just picked it up for them but hey ho say la vie um, anyway, so getting on with things, you can see everything is still super, super rough. This is, I think, the corduroy is just an extremely rough terrain. Um, yeah. Countryside is absolutely beautiful. The, the transits on the first day were fine. I think the transits on the second day were really long. There was one transit, I think it was called like Miserable Lake. Oh, I looked like I wasn't the only person who did that, <laughs> judging by that tree. So, okay. Uh, but, Crumbs is now finished. Um, there was this really cool water crossing here. You can see a lot of people watered out their bikes. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> so he's right. Behind, he's not far behind me right now. Uh, I guess. Uh, and there's a lot of people here sorting out problems. Go through the second half of it. Boom! There is something in there that will catch your bike. I, I didn't feel like I was even going to fall over to the right. My feet are down on the ground. I'm not on the pegs. I'm just going through slowly. 
and then we get to the next one. So this must be a Duff's is a nice short test. Um, nothing particularly much to say about this one. Uh, time wasn't even that bad on it either. Nothing special. But again, just try to stay up. Oh, yeah, just try to stay up. <laughs> uh, I think I fall over at the end of this. I'm trying to remember what I clipped together. So when I make my videos, I just get all the footage, clip it into like a line, and then just do like a big talk over afterwards. Um, I'm still feeling reasonably good. Um, like energy is okay. Uh, I had I bought these um, gel packs. I used to use them when I used to cycle a lot in the UK. I used to do a lot, like quite a bit of. I would say a lot. I used to do quite a decent amount of like um, road cycling. Uh, you know, do like basically 100k rides and stuff like that. I do them relatively frequently, and I used to like buying these little gel pack things called uh, SIS. Hey, it goes Ray again. Got past me. Um, yeah, you buy these little gel packs and you, you kind of suck on them. They're, uh, specifically, they're like, uh, they're a British brand, SIS, Sports and Science, or Science and Sports, or something like that. Um, and they're um, balanced for your stomach, so they don't really fuck with your stomach. Uh, the, like, the normal gel packs that I was noticing in North America, they're, yeah, there's nothing too exciting about this one. That was just like a nice little easy test. Um, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still in a race, probably should be fast. Gave me all of one-fifth of a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really, I, so I've been like eating those each day. They're basically just like heavy carbon because they're a little bit bigger and they have the, the water in them. You don't need to uh, drink water with them and they settle in your stomach and give you energy really fast. So I really like them and I remember them, so I bought a bunch of them. Um, they're not cheap though, unfortunately, but, but they really, really work and I, I really like them. And if anybody was ever wondering about gel packs or they don't like them because they don't settle in your stomach and you have to drink water and stuff like that, try the sports and science stuff. Really good. Would recommend. Um, I've used them for years and I don't know why I never bothered thinking about getting them for like the enduro races. They're fantastic and they keep your energy high. However, it doesn't stop your muscles from being absolutely battered to pieces. So we're out and we're now at Greens and I've only, I've ridden here once before and I kind of didn't remember this bit. So I saw the arrows go into the left and then I saw the trail go to the right and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll just go up here. And then I look to the right and I see an arrow. So I'm like, oh, do we have to go up here? Nope. Um, if I had some speed, I probably could have made it up that. But I came in so slow and and then I flop around on the rock for a little bit. I think I dropped it again. Yeah, there you go. Dropped it again. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, great. That's, that's good. I wasted like two minutes there. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, round we go. And then up, up this bit. I'm really happy that I got loose. Um, and I think even if I don't ride fast enough to be worried about puncture, I saw a good probably five or six people day one with flat rears um changing tires inside of like trails and um all that sort of stuff i didn't notice this lady so um and then i hear shouting i'm like wait someone's shouting at me and i'm not the only one who notices this lady apparently some people went all the way up that hill that was supposed to be turning right she probably should have stood there but hey ho whatever and then when i'm coming through here Hey, he goes right again. <laughs> he gets past me every test. He's so much faster than me on this stuff. He is absolutely hooting it, hoofing it. And then I come down here, and there's Isaiah. <laughs> he must have gone the long way round. I mean, he's well and truly capable of riding that stuff, so there's no problem there. And um, I'm just like, just follow it through. But now my energy is starting to drop off. Like, actually, it's not my energy. I feel good. I just feel tired in my arms my arms were so tired there's just so many downhills um i think it's because i was trying to go too slow down the hill so i'm kind of just like pushing on my triceps too much to go down these hills i should have just flowed with the bike embrace the zen because look where's Isaiah? like oh you just saw him in the distance he's absolutely miles ahead of me now like oh oh is he are those people coming up i don't know either way he's he's absolutely gone flew away and I'm going way too slow and it's putting a lot of pressure on my arms and having just pushed my bike up the, I don't know two tests before my arms were really really feeling it I think 
think I'm not the only person feeling it. There's a lot of people just chilling out, taking a break. This stuff is intense. I, I've... I never came down this trail the one time I came to the Greens. I went all the way up. So, I would say... Whilst going up is a lot more rocky, I would say... It's less exhausting. You just have to be a bit more careful. Um, I don't know what it's like now. Obviously, I haven't ridden it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm feeling it. Oh, this trail is so fucking cool. It makes me want to come back. It makes me want to come back and practice here. Like, ride this stuff more frequently. And just, like, try and understand the concept of just riding smooth. I'm blocking everyone again. All the, all the pros are coming down the mountain now. And I'm just in the way of everyone. So I'm pulling over, like, every three seconds. Look at the train behind me! I don't think they're actually just behind me. They're just coming through much quicker. Look at them. Look at them go. There's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm going to pull out in front of these guys. They're all so much faster than me. So much more skilled than me. I'm just let them, let them all go by. Just stay upright and finish the day. But my arms were... I was starting to feel it in my arms. But I still hadn't had any cramp or anything like that. I'm still good. I'm just a little bit tired now. Hey, I'm pretty happy about that. There's a lot of hills. I didn't realize Ontario had so many hills. Or at least, you know, they, they're making as best efficient use of the slight inclines. If you have a downhill into an uphill, into a downhill, into an uphill constantly, does that count as one elevation? <laughs> Kinda. I'm feeling it though. I'm starting to feel a bit tired in my arms. Um, legs are still feeling good. Now, unfortunately, I don't have much footage after this because I was taking so fucking long to ride anything. <laughs> um, really, really slow. I'm just taking it easy. Taking it easy. It, it, I think you can see it starting right now. Like, it's got darker. The ground has kind of changed color. Um, after greens. So, for the next... Um, for the butt test and way camps, that's when shit starts going real downhill for me. So unfortunately, I don't have any footage of it. But when I got to the um, the rock pit, we made up that. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> when I got to the rock pit uh, on the enduro section, I started getting really bad cramp. Oh, I hit my face on that. Um, but here, I learned my lesson from the other one, so I just kind of like turn the bike around and have another go at it. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Don't just push it up. I mean, the, the bike might have trucked up. Like, there's a lot of... Oh, pardon me. But there's a lot of um, rocks where if you just really just lug the bike slowly, it goes up. Like, watch this guy. Lug, 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 lug. Made it. And so does the next guy. Nice and nice and careful lugging it, and the bike does track. They they all make it up. Everyone makes it up. So I'm like, okay, well, I should, I should probably should try this. Um, just, just a little bit. I probably went a little too aggressive, but it worked. Um, I should, I mean, realistically, I should hit it with some proper speed the first fucking time. But hey ho, lesson learned to gain. Never tried to get up anything that steep before. Um, it was getting slippery. It was wet by that this point. Um, I don't seem to have too much rain on my GoPro, but it was definitely raining. Um, pretty fucking steep downhill as well. But yeah, so like I was saying, at Butts Test in the Rock Garden, by that point, I started getting um, cramp in my arms and cramp in my legs. Not like the crippling, I can't uh, walk anymore cramp. Just like just normal people's type of cramp. Just like, ah, fucking hell. Um, I think it's part and parcel because I was riding so fucking slow all day that everything, I felt every single bump. And had I just been like a bit more of an eager beaver, things would be smoother. Because, you know, you skim the rocks. Everyone knows this. Um, skim the bumps. Or maybe I would have just eaten shit and had a really bad off. I don't know, probably, probably the latter, but <laughs> you know, just trying to truck through. Slow and steady, hopefully finishes the race. Finish the race. I was very happy. <laughs> but yeah, and then Way Camps was just absolutely savage. It was like the most rough cut 11k I'd ever felt. That took me so long to finish Way Camps. I just had to stop. I was having cramp in both arms. 
Um, the cramp in my legs had eased up by that point, but the cramp in my triceps, I just couldn't hold on going downhill. Like, I couldn't brace myself, so I was like riding off the trail and just having to take so many breaks because I was so tired. And I think like just riding slow also compounded the tiredness. Kind of silly, like, but also not a surprise. It makes sense, right? Like, you, when you when you skim over stuff, it's smoother and I'm not skimming over jack shit. <laughs> but lesson learned for next time. Hopefully I'll be able to get out for a few rides uh, here and there, but I suspect a big event like this is a bit of a no-go because I don't want to get divorced. <laughs> and I want to look after my baby, so I'm very excited. A little nervous. But yeah, uh, hope they hope they prepare themselves to like my hobbies because I'm going to force it upon them anyway. <laughs> It's fine. A lot of people were asking me, I say a lot, like my wife and like my sister and stuff were saying like, do you care if you had a boy or a girl? And I'm like, I, I truly don't. I, I, I said, if you put a gun to my head and made me choose, maybe like 1% in favor of a boy, just because I can stereotype like the hobbies. But I know so many guys who ride and they've, their sons have no interest in it. And I know so many guys who ride whose daughters ride. So it's like, gives a shit, right? If they enjoy it, encourage it, whatever they do. That's that's how I see it. But I mean, oh my god, I say encourage it, but they're gonna have to like bikes. <laughs> so okay, day one, there's no more footage. I ran out of GoPro battery. I had like 20% of the other one, but I couldn't be bothered to uh, faff around with batteries. So day two, it's morning. I can't see shit. I do have my goggles on, but it was a little dusty and they were kind of moist from all the sweat and water and stuff, so I was struggling to see. But day two, uh, this is Campus Task Force. Um, I don't know the right time on this actually. Wait, no, I didn't. Dog shit time. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just taking it easy. Uh, I, I misread other people's time, like, uh, I was looking at Logan's time, not my time. Logan absolutely flew through this, four minutes faster than me. Four minutes, that's very, very fast. Um, but again, I'm just trying to trying to do this. Oh, is that a 790 or a 690? What an absolute bad man. He knows how to ride a motorbike. Oh, hear it. Oh, you can hear it in the woods. That's a good sound in the morning. However, coming up here, I'm like, what the hell happened here? I I didn't see him again. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I don't know what happened to him. Maybe the second day didn't go so well. Maybe this whole fucking nightmare didn't do, didn't fare him too well. It's a little slippery. Morning water, rocks, moisture, but it's okay. It's okay. And then you come along this like slippery, on these rocks. slippery rock thing into like this big old downhill. So people were saying like, oh, you'll, um, you'll feel better the second day. You'll feel better the second day. The first night, uh, so we slept in a tent because that's what we have. We don't have any big fancy toy baller and we didn't have the foresight to go by, uh, to rent a cabin or whatever. Right. That was a silly fault. Not good. Uh, just, just fell over. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so uh, there was a minor problem. We may or may not have forgot the tent poles. Deflected off that. Like, oh man, I'm riding terrible. There goes Blake. <laughs> nice little laugh at me. He is absolutely storming it. He's going to move up to one of the eight classes next year, he said. Yeah, like, there is zero charge I can keep up with that lad anymore. He is too fast, too furious, too good for me now. <laughs> but it's good to see him. And it is cool to see him. He's improved so much. I think he only started riding like two years ago. so fast, boy. <laughs> I up. Absolutely I smoked me. Grip. I just deflected off something. I had, to, I had to explain why I fell over. <laughs> I had to explain. Okay, so the start of this one. Uh, this test was an absolute disaster for me. Oh, it's kind of sandy. I'm getting absolutely covered in sand. <laughs> I can't. I, 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 I can't, I can't, I tried to wheelie the bike, it didn't do anything there. So I just sat back and tried and wheelie it over whatever he did. It kind of worked. I, I was pretty happy with that. I, I'm very covered in sand, as you can see. <laughs> it was, so yeah, this test went real bad. Uh, I fell over a lot and then got stuck. But um, anyway, so the first night, uh, sorry, we did, we forgot our temples. 
um, and we managed to jerry-rig um, the tent to the canopy, but it was kind of cold because we didn't have a top sheet. It was okay, so, but the first night I slept okay. And then the second night, hey, it's Brian. So the night for this, the second night, I slept awful. I thought I would sleep really well because I was so tired from the day, but I slept terrible. Oh my God, I must have got like three or four hours sleep. I was so exhausted starting the second day and being not 16 or 18 anymore, I didn't recover shit either. So like, <laughs> whilst I didn't have cramp anymore, I definitely felt like that I started my day with about 5% body strength. It's like, fucking hell, here we go. <laughs> it's quite sandy. Um, on a normal day, I feel like I would just pin it and pin it to win it. Uh, lost the front hit. It's so slippery. Fucking hell. Just slippery. Pick the bike up. Like, oh, maybe I can walk it down this last little bit. Nope. Slippery. Front wheel's just locked up. And I drop it that way. <laughs> and then bike won't start. So I'm looking at my starter trying to get the bike started. And then I look ahead and I don't see the lady. Whoa! Almost ran her over. Fucking hell, that could have been bad. Sorry, lady. Uh, and then there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy little steep downhill here. Like, whee. Luckily, it's not very far. There were some bigger ones elsewhere, I just can't find them in the video and I've got like 200 billion hours of footage, so well, whatever. <laughs> Everybody's rid of it, will remember it. But that one was fun because you can see all the people standing around, you're like, oh, something's coming up, there's so many people gathered around. <laughs> so coming through here, uh, this was all around, just coming up there was, a, there was a bridge and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? There was so many people starfished everywhere, and uh, I'm like, whatever, I'll turn the GoPro off. So, I saw five people go to the right, and they just absolutely razzed it through the side, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, if they did that, maybe I could do that. I got about 10 meters in and got completely stuck, and I got stuck, like, front wheel down into what someone's rear rut was, and their rear rut was right up against a log, and the mud was so sticky. I was stuck there for half an hour. I um, I turned my head around, and lo and behold, who's next to me? It's Kiwi Brian! <laughs> so, we, we get through the mud, and then we get him through the mud, and I just, like... The worst thing is, just before um, I decided to go that way, I thought... I was talking to a fellow stood sat next to me, I was like, oh, it's probably better if we just walk across. Um, but then, as I, as I said that to him, um, about another, like, 10 people pushed their way onto the bridge, and then immediately they all went sideways, and they were, like, falling off the bridge into the mud, and there was just like, I was like, what the f is going on there? And then when you see the people go through the side, I was like, oh, okay, I'll give that a go. By the time I had freed my bike, in the mud, not moved it, just freed it out of the mud, the entire bridge was clear. And I was now stuck halfway through the mud. So had I just waited five minutes, I would have made it through. But I lost 30, just literally sat in the mud, like an absolute bell end. Um, thankfully, Kiwi Brian saved me, because that would have been a DNF. I, I don't think I could have got out without his help. And I think he would not have got out without my help. Um, well, or we wouldn't have got out with any reasonable time. I put a bit of a rush on because oh, after that, my triceps had actually freed up and I was feeling pretty good. I actually had a bit of energy and I was like, oh shit, I, I need to like actually put some effort into finishing now. Another massive river crossing, there's Vanessa. She uh, had a pretty bad off on the first day, I think. She was telling me after the cord, well, I, I saw her at the cord on the first day and she just had like a thousand miles stare. I was like, what the fuck? And uh, she said that she'd like hit her head off a tree and knocked herself out and she couldn't see out of her right eye. Um, so, fuck. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah, so she had to DNF the first day because I don't think she was able to ride how she wanted to after that. And like it put her back so far and 
and this is like her first year into the de uh, to the pro class, so she was having to do much, much harder trails than uh, than we would than I had to ride. So, so that was the MX test. There's nothing particularly interesting on that. You just ride around. It, like, it's not really an MX test, but I had pretty bad um, hip flexor cramp, um, and I had to stop just to get rid of that. So I lost a couple of minutes just like trying to get rid of that cramp on my hip flexor. Um, but other than that, it was, it was a pretty interesting test. It, like, it's quite fast paced um, and it's very rocky. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. So after the MX test, there's a Somerville. I've never seen this side of Somerville before. Fucking hell, it's steep. <laughs> but it's so nice after this. Like, you, you go through this little bumpy side of Somerville that I've never seen before. And then um, I'm just telling myself, finish the day, idiot. Don't do, don't do any hero shit. Don't try and ride fast. Just ride smooth, finish the day. You're so close. Just try and finish. Um, and some fella uh, uh, told me um, the last test for uh, the novice was quite rough. What the fuck? I see this, I'm like, what the fuck? I've never tried anything like this before. Hey, made it, made it up. I'm pretty happy about that. I should probably try this stuff more often in, in the future. Um, Climb it up here. It's just like, never seen this. It's just sandy. It's just some of it. It's like sandy. It was really it, like this side is a bit like uh, a bit rougher, but when you get to the other side, it's it's, it's just riding the nice summer meal trails. It was glorious. Oh my god, it felt so nice. Um, my time was extremely slow, but it's a shit. I was just having a nice day out riding Somerville. Nice trail ride. Ah. You've seen me ride in the other videos through Somerville. I don't ride like this. Uh, well, actually, I do. But <laughs> I'm, I'm just having a nice day out. There's nothing. I'm not. I'm not trying anything fast. I just want to finish by this point. Um, I thought Fox had DNF'd on the first day. He uh, he had split his um, subframe in half. It was that rough. <laughs> I think he said after after Chloe's Kingdom and all the other races of like 250 hours. His, his uh, bike's subframe just gave out, and uh, unfortunately, like Rob, uh, Rob Conlon had had uh, had to pull out his uh, his battery went like it died completely, which is which is a massive shame because he was absolutely screaming it on the first day, doing incredible. A lot of people were like DNFing, so we're up to the last test. I think it's the last test. Yeah, pretty sure. So for me, it's birdies. Um, yeah, just. Uh, another, another real rough cut thing, but it wasn't so bad. It was only 6k. Um, I don't think it was as rough cut as Wayland's, um, but I was really running out of gas. Not in the bike. Bike's fine. I was physically running out of gas. <laughs> One funny thing on the first, uh, on the second day, on the first gas stop, um, I come into the gas stop super late because because I'm riding. <laughs> so tired anyway i came into the first gas stop and um because jesse couldn't ride the second day um he also had to dnf um he said that on the just he didn't have enough seat time so he, his just grip was completely gone he said the first day by the last test he was four finger clutching um he was uh unable to hold on to the handlebars he whiskey throttled multiple times looped the bike out all sorts of stuff he was failing everything on the hill climbs towards the end of the day earlier in the day was fine but towards the end of the day was bad um so like in my opinion my riding got worse on the second day because i was just unable to recover i went from like one finger clutching to like two three finger clutching i was just trying to make it through my my whole body i could like look at that i got bumped and I just rode off the trail. I couldn't, I'm starting to not be able to control the bike. And if he started the day like that, fuck it hell. So he'd been waiting for me and he had taken my gas cans. So I was running around trying to find my gas. Um, luckily, uh, I was given gas by another friend. So thank you very much. And um, some of Logan's buddies helped me out by like, getting, getting the bike ready as fast as possible to get some time back. But whatever. Anyway, we're making it to the last test. We're just making it through. Um, a few people have DNF'd, unfortunately. Um, it, it takes a toll on the bike. I had lost the uh, bolt between my uh, exhaust and my um, my pipe, so my I can 
my pipe was like flapping around a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, I fixed it now. I, I put I got new clips and put those in and stuff. I'm just trying to truck through things. I'm pretty happy about this hill climb. Trucking through, up I go. Yeah, that's uh, close enough to the top. I'm not gonna fail here. I just, well, I'm just so go so slow. It was really good to see some people go by. They were really like encouraging. They probably know. They're probably like, well, they're flying past me, so they probably know that people that right now are running out of steam. And every time they went by, a few people would shout like words of encouragement. Um, and when you hear the words of encouragement, you feel so much like so much better. So, eh. he said, almost there. Like, just a little thing like that, I'm like, yeah, we are almost there. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Don't hit that guy's bike. Oh, and it's cool to see, like, see their lines as well. Like, oh, okay, I'll copy their line, okay. A few more words of encouragement. They make it through this, like, buddy thing that I was a little apprehensive about. And, yeah, it wasn't so bad. Oh, come on. Come on, chug bike. <laughs> Take it easy. I, I even put it in um, rain mode just just to like reduce the the, the 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 strength of the torque from the bike. Jesus Christ! He's on a hill. And he flipped the bike up like that. Oh! I was quite impressed. I was very impressed by that. I know he crashed, but I was very impressed right. by that. <laughs> and that's it. So the cord has finished, and I'm very happy with how the cord went for me. I. Overall, I came 374th overall. Doesn't mean shit. I rode for a total of 371 minutes in the tests, and um, I mean, sure, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just very happy I finished. So I hopefully we'll just do the OCMC six hour, and yeah, next year will be a very very different year for me. So yeah, um, that'll do. See ya.